So now let's fill all those statements using which you can achieve GMS service. So to send a GMS message, what you can do is, so NetBeans provide you a feature. In fact, you can type all these statements by yourself, but I will take help of NetBeans here. So we'll say right click, insert code. We'll click on, you can see there's an option of uh, send a GMS message. So click on send JMS message and we'll provide a destination name which is server destination here. Uh, in fact, we have to go for message driven bean. And yeah, so this is my message driven bean which is my bean. And that's it. And click on OK. So you can see by default it has given you something. What we'll do is we'll change the code here. We'll provide JMS demo Navin Dust which is proper. Uh, let me remove this part. I will have my own connection settings. So we'll say add resources. Resources is the annotation which provides you the resources. Uh, we'll say with a name, so mapped by the attribute. So if you're not good with this annotation part, you have to learn annotation. So go, go to Google and search for annotations. So if you're not familiar with annotation, it's okay because our main concern is not annotation here, it's just this step we have to use. So the resource name is, I forgot my resource name, it was uh, JMS demo and it was Naveen. Okay, so this was my resource name. Now, now we'll create a object of connection factory. So if you remember from the last PPT, we need to create object of connection factory, we'll say it's Q. Okay, let's import the package. Uh, from java.mx, javax.jms. Okay, so once you created the object of Q, you can now you can just go down. Now, you can see we have added an extra method here. So what we will do is, in this method, we need to achieve some task. So first thing, let's achieve, achieve this message. Instead of, uh, yeah, we can directly send a string here. Okay, so once you got this string, now, uh, so there's an error here, let me remove this line. Okay, so let's start with the statements. So first thing, the way to create object of connection. So once you created your object of connection factory, let's create object of connection which is gone and we'll say it is equal to null. In fact, you can write everything in a dry block and catch because I know there will be, it will expect us to write a exception, try catch exception, and we'll print the value of E here. And we can directly say, instead of saying null, we can say it is Q, uh, my object name is Q here. Yeah, I have created a Q here, so we'll say a Q. So with the help of, uh, with the object of uh, connection factory, you can say Q dot create statement or create connection Let's import the package, control shift I. So in NetBeans, if you press control shift I, it will create the connection. Now let's create the object of session. So to create object of session, we'll say session S equal to con dot. So there's a method, there's a method called as create session. Let's import the package. So again, it's Java X dot uh, JMS dot session. Now once you got the object of session, now, so if it, uh, let's go back to PPT. Now, if you remember, so once you are done with this uh, connection factory, then connection, session. Now, next is since we are going to send the message, we have to say message producer. So let's create a message producer now. So we'll say a message producer. It's an inbuilt class again. It's an interface, I guess. Let me check. It's an yeah, it's an interface, message producer is an interface, will give its name as mp equal to. To create the object of this message producer, we have to say s dot a create producer, is an inbuilt message, and we need to provide the destination name. So from where you will get destination name, it's here. So this is your destination name, which is q. So any, any message you send to this destination, it will go to the q. Next, uh, to send the message, we need to create the object of text 
message. So text message is again an inter interface. Let me confirm. So text message is also interface. Uh, we'll say tm equal to. To create the object of text message, we need to say s dot uh, create text message. Now, what we can do is we can just simply say, uh, we can set the text, which is tm dot. So we need to set this text with this uh, message data. So we'll say tm dot set text. Okay, we can simply say it, uh, message data. And then we'll say mp dot. So there's a method called as send. What to send? tm. That's it. If you call this message, it will send this data to your uh, JMS. Now, so before going for that, uh, I will simply say once you send the request, uh, I, need to, I need to call a method which is send JMS. So we'll call that method from here. And what will pass is, will pass the data which is accept which we need to accept from user. So we'll say string str equal to uh, request dot get parameter. User will enter data which is name. That name will go into str, and that str will go here. So we'll say this is str. Simple, and this str will go inside this. And we need to execute all this statement to send the data. So now when we are, once you are done with this code, now we'll have to run this. So before running this, let's uh, that running will do in the next part. So let's make a quick recap what we have done. We have created the uh, we have created this annotation which is a source, which which will map your queue with the destination you have assigned in the JMS service. We need to provide a connection factory object for the particular queue. And then we need to create, we need to create object of connection, session, message producer, text message. Now how to deploy and run this code that we'll see in the next part.